the performance of the Galaxy S23 Ultra was the main improvement that we noticed. Despite having a nearly similar appearance to its predecessor, the phone's performance was largely to blame for its popularity and sales. The phone excels at tasks that need a lot of CPU and GPU power while yet providing a long battery life. Now, many people predicted that we wouldn't experience the same with the Galaxy S24 Ultra since we saw such a significant overall improvement in performance on the S23 Ultra. As we get our first look at the Galaxy S24 Ultra's raw power and efficiency, it becomes clear that this is far from the case. You see, the British business arm has unveiled its newest CPU and GPU cores. ARM develops the architecture for processors used in smartphones, tablets, and wearables. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and Exynos 2400 chipsets, which will power the Galaxy S24 range, will be built using this design by companies like Qualcomm and Samsung. Since efficiency is what most of us are concerned about, let's start there. According to ARM, the Cortex-X4 CPU core would consume 40% less power while handling demanding single-threaded activities. This implies that the Galaxy S24 range will use less power while carrying out demanding functions like photography, gaming, and multitasking. The S24 lineup's other two cores, which are in charge of everyday activities like web surfing and social networking applications, should have 20% and 22% longer battery lives than their preceding cores. ARM says that multi-threaded workloads have improved in performance by 27%. Notably, the Cortex-X4 core can operate at speeds of up to 3.4 GHz and has a 2 MB L2 cache, which is double that of the previous year. The S24 Ultra will have an even better battery life than the S23 Ultra, which currently has a terrific battery life, since ARM has concentrated on making its new CPUs more efficient with a decent gain in performance. In truth, 40% more efficient with the Prime Core is not a joke, therefore I should say much better. The Mali GPU cores from ARM have also been introduced, but as Qualcomm and Samsung won't be using them in their chipsets for the Galaxy S24 series, we won't speak about them. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without being said let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.